This is the Sanat Kumara. Welcome to the 72nd lesson of Namas University, Earth Spiritual University, the place and community that grows you into fully soul-guided and Shambhala-assisted human beings. It's my turn again in Lessons 72 to 75 we will talk about the return of Lord Buddha to Earth, the Divine's initial 48 creations, what went right and wrong in subsequent universes, and finally, the effects it had and still has on Earth today. Be prepared for heartwarming and shocking insights. If you have listened carefully to what the Wise One and Betold have been sharing with you lately, you could sense that something huge is revealed to you bit by bit. I provide these lessons through Martina Violetta Young. They are voice recorded for you by Deborah Lee Flynn. Let's start. Quite a while ago, Lord Buddha had left Earth, deeply frustrated by the grip the dark side had both on planet Earth as well as our whole galaxy. I provide you with details in my next lessons. Last autumn, we started with integration talks between the Dark Council of Earth under the leadership of Lord Tyrannison and Shambhala. If you have read Volume 3 of my Chronicles, you've met Lady Lydia. Lord Tyrannison's wife is Lady Lydia. He and his colleagues tricked and cheated on us during the integration talks for months until Martina stopped the project shortly before Christmas last year. We all needed a break to reconsider our approaches. We started again in January with a fresh and wider team on both sides. We also opened up for participants from the galaxy. Still, discussions did not go well. The dark side kept attacking us. During a dangerous moment on the 31st of January, 2024, Lord Buddha showed up unexpectedly, stepped in, and helped. Grateful, I asked him whether he would consider returning to Earth permanently. After he pondered my request, he came back and said, Yes. Lord Buddha returned to Earth as of the 22nd of May, a day before the full moon, on which he is celebrated worldwide. He has started working together with the integration team and project we call the Tea Room. The Tea Room is the next level of integration talks that created the breakthrough. You will learn all you need to know about it in Volume 4 of my Chronicles. But enough of the background for the moment. I now invite Lord Buddha to address you through Martina herself. Dear people of Earth, 
This is Lord Buddha. I bow to you. I address you to let you know that one of my first services being back was to release you from a seal that has been placed by the dark forces to prevent you from processing and transmuting negative energies. That release happened on Friday, the 24th of May. This dark seal was placed into your chakra system to make it dysfunctional and prevent the kundalini system from working as it is supposed to be. This dark seal led to the accumulation of negativity. Imagine your body, if you are unable to defecate, how toxic it will quickly become. This toxicity piled up in your body and stored itself in various forms around the body, organs, and tissues to isolate the negativity. It was also the reason for physical pain and suffering, as well as emotional overload. Unable to let go of all sorts of negativity, at least unaided, you became dysfunctional and controllable enough for the dark forces. The dark seal that manipulated your kundalini system is gone now, in each of you. I thank Sean and Martina for providing their free will and abilities in my first service to you, whilst I used Earth's spirit world as my transmission center to reach all of you. Now you, people of Earth, beloved students of Namas University, are once again able to process your negative emotions and thoughts to release them through your natural bodily functions. The Kundalini system was meant to provide you with a constant release function, but the Anunnaki manipulated it to their advantage. It became a supply depot for serving the dark side without you knowing it. The dark side has used this to sustain themselves. You became ever more toxic and aggressive as a result. But that is done now. You are free again to release negativity in all forms. A true healing process. The effects of this will become widely felt. I will provide more detailed information through Sean soon. I have chosen Sean Fredericks, a co-teacher and quantum healer at Namas University, as my first walk-in in voice into the world. I have chosen Namas University as my earthly home base to spread my new teachings to the people of Earth in a structured manner. This includes more people serving at Namas University who I have and will walk into to translate my new teachings coming through podcasts and ebooks into more languages. I will also reach out to other people who are highly receptive to my energies to spread my new teachings as well. I need to reach the furthest and widest audience as soon as possible. At the same time, I need to ensure accuracy in transmitting my teachings by selflessly serving people. Look out for my first healing book given through Sean, as there is a certain amount of self-help that needs to occur through you to make the release of your toxicity effective. In the years ahead, 
You need to learn to become independent again. Please move away from piety and penitence as well. Over-reliance on others to fix one's problems needs to end also. Take responsibility for yourself. You see, enlightenment starts with integration, integrating the darkness into the light, inside yourself, inside religions, and any kind of man-made organizations and governing bodies before they will integrate with each other. Separation needs to end. Even the religions closest to my original teachings while I lived amongst you, as Siddhartha Gotama, who then became the Enlightened One, Buddha, need to open up to my new teachings. That's all for my first message to you, beloved people of Earth. I thank Martina for serving me here and hand back to the Sanakramara for the final part of this lesson. Thank you, Lord Buddha. I bow to you. We are glad to have you back. I am also glad to make four practical announcements. Firstly, Namas University has expanded its team to 28 people now, and we have started to give on-site live teachings. That is why I left out the word digital when I described Shambhala's university for the people of Earth at the beginning of my lesson. Our team will need to grow further to provide all our teaching materials in all languages we cover through the lessons on our YouTube channel. I will call upon those who have a sole agreement to work for Namas University now. Secondly, we invite you to meet and greet with the co-teachers of Namas University. Bow to, shake hands with, and talk to those who have published books and are in the process of publishing one this year, like Martina, Katerina, Komal, Sean, Karen, Dawn, and Deborah. The meet and greet takes place in Aachen, Germany, on the 26th of July, between 10 a.m. and 12 noon, in the city center of Aachen, close to the cathedral. The exact place will be announced once we have an idea of how many of you want to participate. Thirdly, our new website is live. Please visit us at namasuniversity.org and use the email icon on the bottom of the page to let us know that you are coming until the 30th of June, 2024. Finally, I will publish a new ebook on Amazon for you in English around summer solstice with the title The Sanakumara, Your 12 Strand Sun Diamond DNA. It will bring you back to your Lemurian abilities. The German version will follow three weeks later. That's all for today, my beloved students. I will be back with Lesson 73 next week when I will speak about the Divine Creator's 48 initial creations. My love and blessings to all of you. This was the Sanat Kumara. Kumara Satsanga Kumara Satsanga Kawa Nirina Kawa Nirina 
कुमार सत्संग कुमार सत्संग